Hello and welcome to blog number seven, me learning to play the Anglo concertina. I've uh, had this Frank Edgeley concertina for about two weeks, just under two weeks now, and um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's a fantastic instrument, obviously. Uh, I'm definitely not doing it justice yet because uh, I'm finding it a lot harder uh, than the English to get to grips with. I mean, I sort of understand it, and I've invented my own tab for it, and there you saw me sort of wrestling with the, the A part of the tune called the Butterfly, lovely Irish tune, which I got from Gary Coover's uh, excellent book on Irish tunes. And um, I put it in my own tab uh, so that I can sort of follow it. When I played that A part, I discovered a little, um, a little ornament purely by accident when I did this. That. Holding onto the E there on the push, and then going to the F sharp on the pull. I sound really professional, don't I? <laughs> That's about the only time I do. This bit. That bit there. I find hard. I could play it. I could play the D there on the same button as the F sharp. I find it easier, I think, to do what Gary suggests in his music, which is to do a pull, a push, and uh, a pull. But it is quite awkward there with fingers four uh, and two and three. Let's give you a little bit of the B part. Uh, this sort of climbs up a bit higher. It's really nice, that, isn't it? I love that that C in, in that, that that lovely run, isn't it? And I had a little bit of trouble with my thumb the first few days, my right hand thumb. Uh, the base of it was really aching. I tried loads of different setups. Uh, what I've come up with is to have the concertina on my left knee and out of shot here, you can't see, I've got my left foot on a guitar footstool. Uh, and I found this way, my thumb doesn't ache. It still aches a bit, but nothing like it did when I first started. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, the C part, and there's a C part, three parts to this. The C part, not so hard. And you can spot the, the problem I've got there straight away. My bellows getting further and further and further uh, stretched out. Um, I've yet to figure out uh, where to use the air button there. Um, it's all very, very early days. But uh, the good news is that I love the sound of it. It's obviously a, a lot easier to play than my poor old Hona D40, which is, has now been sold and it's uh, winging its way to its new owner, even as I speak. 
So this is a, this is a different world completely. Obviously it's got the, the three rows. This concertina is a 30 button Anglo and it's got the, what they call the carol layout, same as the carol concertinas, uh, which means to say you've got the double C sharp there. So it's quite similar to a Jeffries setup, except for that. Uh, it's all fairly meaningless to me at the moment because I'm just scratching the surface. Uh, on a few other tunes I've been learning, um, you know, I have been using the, the, the extra notes I've, I've got. Um, but as I say, very early days. So I'm a long way off uh, playing the butterfly all the way through fluently. A lot of practice needed there. Um, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. That's the end of this particular blog, blog number seven. Uh, as you can see, it's still very early days here. I'm uh, struggling a lot more with this than I did with the English, but I actually do genuinely think that the Anglo is hard, well, for me anyway, even though I, I'm a Melodium player of sorts, um, I still find it quite hard compared to the English, but I shall personally, I love the sound of it and I love the, um, I love the technique that you need for this instrument. So I shall keep beavering away and hopefully you'll see some improvement in blog number eight. Thank you for watching.